Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. We have a really strange problem here today. I have um, some style numbers, 6,000, 6,000 B. And when I sort this column, I don't get the result that I expect. The style 5,500 is at the top, but 5,500 A is near the bottom. What's going on here? Well, it turns out that when Excel sorts data and some of the numbers are text, 5,500 A, and some of the numbers are numeric, all the numeric values come to the top and the text numbers um, come to the bottom. And so, you know, I always say that you should have your numbers stored as numbers instead of text. But in this one particular case, we really need to convert those numbers to text. Now, a lot of people will highlight the column and go to format cells and try and change the number type to text. Well, that would have been great if you thought about it before you entered the data, but once the data has been entered, changing this number format to text doesn't affect the numbers that are already there. Um, so there's a couple of options. Well, the one that I'm going to use today is the text to columns feature. This is found underneath data, text to columns. And in this case, we're going to choose that the data is fixed width. Make sure that there are no lines drawn in in step two. And then in step three, say that this one column has a data format of text. And when we click finish, it will convert all of the existing values in that column to be text values. And now when we sort, we get the data exactly like we expect it would. If you ever have the alternate problem where you have a lot of numbers stored as text, you can also use data text to columns. But in step three, say that the values are general, which will convert those back to numbers for you. There you have it. Very strange problem with sorting data, but it happens all the time. We use text to columns to convert the values so that way they're all text and it allows them to be sorted correctly. Thanks for joining us. Stop back tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.